Okay, this is a package of roses we received. It's the David Austin ones, handled with care, contains live plants. So, Cesar, do you want to open this? Uh, yes, if you have scissors. So uh, probably we can just open it with nah, ripping the paper. <laughs> Paper, paper. Nice. Paper, is that how you do it? I don't know. Let me just see if I can do it by hand. No, I can't do it. I'm just in there. So, now I have ripped the paper so you can see what is inside. Yeah. You want to see? I've got something in the bag. Ouch, I just picked myself up. It must be a rose bush. So. Yeah. Two rose bushes or, or four rose bushes. Oh, that's a catalog. How to take care of your roses. Oh, that's it. Let's see how it looks inside. They kept it moist. Oh, two. Rambling roses and two pot so roses. Can you hold this? Yeah, hold this? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, I just want to see the roots and no. the name of the plants. Okay. Okay. They have good roots. Good roots. Okay. Yeah. Oh, brilliant roots. Yeah. Take them long to get so let's see what's the name of this rose. It's called Desdemona. Oh, that's a pot rose. Beautiful pot rose. Oh, I got three of that. Oh, Paul Noel. That's a rambling rose. Marvin Hills, I think, is a rambling rose. Uh, Golden Celebration is a pot rose. You have here Desdemona again. Three Desdemona, I told mm -hmm. you. That's the trick. If you want to have uh, roses which look lush in a pot, you have to get three of them. Okay, that's ready. I can just put it in the water. It's already wet even. Mm. Doesn't need much. But we can plant it now. We can. Let's go and do it. And this is the David Austin planting guide for roses. So you have to put them in the water, then dig over the soil thoroughly, dig a hole big enough for the roots, approximately 40 by 40, then break up the soil, remove the rose from the bucket of water. Position the rose where a little bit center of the at the center of the road, but a little bit of stems buried. Then backfill around the rose, and that's it. That's done. I will add also macroizal fungi, which we have. Okay, this is a Q4 Plus natural organic sustainable with added macroizal fungi for enhanced root growth for planting fruit trees, shrubs, and roses. So I'm going to plant some roses, and I'm going to use this. I'll just show you how it looks like. Um, it doesn't come with a spoon, but I have this spoon from a, a, another microizal phone guy. And that's how it looks like. So you have to spread it in the hole that you have dig and that will feed the plant. And helps it to also to establish the, what we call as the internet of the soil, the fungi network. So this is my hole and this is the rose variety, Malvern Hills, rambling rose. That's from the David Austin. He gives plenty of small roses and uh, they are useful and aromaticals. So I'm going to put some um, of this root growth Q4 plus natural organic sustainable. Uh, food for the plants, base dressing, pre-planting fertilizer, and with organic nutrients. Okay, I'll put my plant in, and I'm going to cover it gradually with soil. And that is the rose, rambling rose variety, Marvern Hills. It gives a kind of whitish to slightly reddish, pinkish flowers, but they are aromatic. We will see how it will grow. This is the Rambler Rose Paul Noel. It means it grows vigorously. Gives the small flowers which are 
reddish to uh, sorry white to pinkish color they are fragrance and they're really good so I'm looking forward to have them later and uh, for planting it I've dug a hole 40 by 40 I spread the roots in this hole and I add some of this fertilizer fungi containing also mycorrhizal fungi and we'll see how it will go and that is the rose variety Paul Noel we will see how it will do